Hey, rock stars of tomorrow, I'm Mark Shulman, the current drummer for Pink for the last 13 years, and I've also had the amazing fortune of playing for some of the greatest artists in history, like Billy Idol, Foreigner, Simple Mind, Cher, Velvet Revolver, Stevie Nicks, Cheryl Crow, Richard Marks, Michael Hutchins, Beyonce, Tina Turner, Dave Koz, and even the OJs. So my friends, this is so exciting because I'm going to take you through the actual process from start to finish of when I get hired to record a song, to play a studio drum track, where I get to hear the song for the first time, chart it out, my engineer Eric and I go through, we get the sounds, I usually play two takes, then I play alternate fills and alternate grooves, and you get to experience the entire thing. And this is a real session from start to finish from a song that I've actually not even heard. So this is what it's actually like for me and what it's been like for me well over a thousand times. So enjoy, I hope you love it, and God bless. All right, so we are going to chart this out right now. I have only heard half of this song. I'll go through the process of what I'm doing. So this is Ben's song. All right, here we go. And we are rolling. Click or no click? Um, we can hear it without the click for now. Okay. Okay, so I'm listening. It's guitar without any drums. Turn it up a little bit. So that was tacit. Times four, times eight. Meaning I'm not playing. And then it's kind of this cool tom pattern with the clicks for eight bars of verse. And then this is a pre chorus we'll call the B section. Ah, chorus. Same for the B section. And the chorus, I'm going to write out the beat. And this is the snare drum, and that's the bass drum. Or the bass pattern that I'm writing out. Because I like to do a road map so I can focus on the music. Okay, stop that for one second. Uh, so, so at the end, that's times 14. At the end of the 15th bar, we have a push, an eighth note and a four, into a hold, right? So that's how I chart that. And now it sounds like we're going back into a verse. So let's play from here. I love that. I'm going to create my own similar pattern, but I call it Tom and Click. And it's a bigger Tom. Bigger Toms. That was eight. This is eight. Oh, stop for a second. Okay, I'm sorry, that's seven. And then that also does an eighth note for and into a break, but I'm gonna put a little fill here. And now we're going back to the chorus. I hope we can still see this. And then here we go to the chorus. Sorry about my bad handwriting, but I'm a lefty that plays righty and I'm just confused. That's part of the world, right? Okay, here we go. Chorus. <laughs> Not to confuse that bass drum. Eight, two, three, four, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, same thing, so I just write the same. Okay, stop for a second. So this is a tag, so 
One, two, three. Back it up a little bit. Same, 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 same. Stop for a second. So that is an interesting. So it stops, and then in this tag it's like one, two, three, I mean, one, two, three, and four, and. So I do a count, then an eighth note, and four. And this is a crash. So the beginning of the tag is very interesting because it's got that little drum fill, which is really cool. And now let's see where it goes. Okay, so that now goes to a new section. We'll call this the solo section. So from this point on, I am making up the drum part completely. Eight, seven, I'm sorry. Eight, two, six. six now we're back to the chorus. I'm all alone. It's actually seven. These are eight bar phrases. Okay, so that's eight bars, nine, ten, twelve, sorry, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so this is a little bit of a text, so stop for a second. So why don't we do the same thing, and then we're going to do this. Start again, and then it sounds like there's going to be a tag. And what I will do is I will play cymbals. Ding, ding, just stop again. Let's hear how it actually ends. Here's back a bar. Start again. Okay, that's beautiful. It's a very emotional ending for a very emotional song. So. Let's go back to the just the tail end of that chorus. I'm going to see how many of these tags I'm going to play, and I'm going to sort of gradually decrescendo or lower my volume and my intensity of my playing. So it's like a two, three, and boom, back, boom, again on this one. And then I'm going to go to symbols, and then we'll just gradually fade out. And that is my chart. And I'll look at it, clean it up a little bit. So I think we are ready to actually go in and cut this track. What do you think? Should we do it? Roger. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, my friends. Now I am in the recording room and now I don't have to wear my mask because Eric and I are in separate rooms. We always want to be safe, especially during this time period. So now we're going to do, we're going to actually get drum sounds first and I'll explain what we're doing as we're doing it. So I have my beautiful Gretsch five piece kit with my Sabian cymbals. I'm using a bronze six and a half by 14 snare drum. I'm using a 10, 12 and 16 inch floors. And, uh, these two toms up here were prototypes that were made for me, and the bass drum and the floor tom were from the first Pink Tour. It's amazing, right? Um, and then I'm using a 16-inch uh, sound control crash. I'm using a custom shop uh, prototype that I got at the factory in Sabian, 21-inch. And here's the crash. And then I'm using a bald 18-inch crash over here. And I'm using old 14-inch, I think they're studio hats. You can't even see because they're so old that I've actually scrubbed them clean. 
um, and I'm using a 24 by 16 inch bass drum that we leave open. We're using two mics on the bass drum. One is a close mic and one is a uh, tube mic to get a little bit more of the ambience and the roundness. And I've got my chart that I charted out before sitting right here. And Eric is going to be getting sound, so he's going to ask me whatever he needs. So what do you need? Just start playing, please. Just start playing. Just start playing, please. Okay, I have to change something really quick, sorry. All right. Um, what are you changing? Um, one of the channels is a little distorted, so I'm just going to put it into another channel. Oh, that's so sexy. I know. That's why I love Eric, an absolute perfectionist, because we're giving just the raw tracks. So we're going to, you'll hear a mix that Eric gets up, but then we're going to give the raw tracks to the engineer, and the engineer is going to take all the raw tracks, re-EQ, recompress, redo all the sort of signal processing that this uh, that the engineer mixer wants to do, um, obviously to the liking of uh, Patrick and Winston, of course, because they are the writer and artist. All right, a little more floor tom, please. Okay. Cool. And around the toms one one time, please. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have me listen to the track so I can get the right balance of the click track and the music so it's the most musical for me and the easiest for me to play along with so I can provide the greatest drum track for the client. All right, here we go. Face to face. Okay, I'm only getting one side. Beautiful boy to There we go. I've been away watching you run. Pulling my heart like a kite in the sun. Here we go. Face 
So now what I'd like to do is get some alternate grooves, some alternate fills, and we will call that song complete. And samples, of course, so they can take samples and sample in drums if they want to sample in any other drums. So I'm going to give a different pattern on the verse, uh, and I'll give a different pattern on the B section. So if they like something better, they have a lot to choose from. So here we go. You can just roll it. And we will try some alternate playing examples.
Now let's do the samples. All right, samples, we're rolling. Now we're going to have Eric get a mix-up, and we're going to go listen to the performances. Woohoo! Here we go! Now we're about to check out Eric's marvelous mix. Now remember that the artist has just sent me some rough tracks to cut to. The artist is going to then obviously beef this up and make this into a full master recording, but this was just so I could cut the drum tracks. So hopefully by the time of this release, you will be hearing the actual finish master. But for now, we are just listening to what we have so far. It's very exciting. Whoa. Face to face, holding you close. Beautiful boy, two years old. Wow. Made that floor tom killing. Yeah. Played it killing. Let sound great. Like a It's always exciting for me to be able to hear back what I just played. Up as I go along, we're no guys. 
This has been so much fun yeah. to bring you into our world. Woohoo! <laughs>